Hi folks and welcome to my next Game Hints video for Elite Dangerous. I'm Silmar UK, I am a variety streamer on a number of platforms including Twitch, Mixer, YouTube and Facebook Gaming. I also produce YouTube videos like this one and Let's Play series and I write blog articles which cover hints and various aspects of gaming and streaming. You can find out more details about me at my main website which is silmaruk.net or you can follow me on Twitter where I am silmaruk. If you like this video please consider giving it a like, consider subscribing to the channel as there will be more hints and tips videos like this and please leave comments or questions as well. So on to this particular tip which is all around one of the ways of making more money from bounty hunting. So not everyone likes mining uh, and sometimes you're doing other things like working on your combat break so sometimes mining which is still one of the best ways to earn a lot of money quickly in the game of elite today um, although that still is probably the best way there are others and this is one of them now normally with bounty hunting what you would find is dropping into a hazardous rest zone an hourly rate would be a few millions um, if you were in a wing, that would go up a bit, but you'd probably struggle to break 10 million an hour. And the trick to make money from bounty hunting is to get pirate massacre missions. And a pirate massacre mission is something like this. So it'll say massacre a particular gang of pirates. It'll give you a payout, as you can see there, up to around 23 million, although that is dependent on your reputation with the faction giving it and basically it'll tell you to go to a particular system but you can get even better and but by what I mean is that is you can stack these missions now you have to be careful how you do it but I've probably got I've got a number of missions here um, let's see we've got this one is worth two million. That was only for about seven pirates. One and a half million, 11 million, eight million, 17 million, and 23 million. Now, the trick with stacking missions is you do not take the missions from the same faction. You need to take them from different factions. And it's even better if you can take them from a number of systems as the factions are unlikely to be the same and that's what I've done in this case I was able to get a number of missions probably going to bring me a fairly nice amount in uh, maybe around the 50 million mark average sort of hourly payout I've got using this method is around 30 million although it is more variable than mining so you won't always do that well sometimes though you will do better and the trick to it is, first things first, find yourself a nice bounty hunting spot. So this is LHS1339. You're going to want somewhere that's got rings. And you want those rings to have res zones. And one of the reasons why I say this is a nice bounty hunting spot is, as you can see, one of the gas giants has four has reses in. There's also a low and a high and it just so happens that somewhat further away we've got another couple of reses but this is ideal multiple high or has reses depending on your tastes um, all in the same spot so this is a good system now what you now need to do is to find other systems which will give you pirate massacre missions in this target system now for that you are generally speaking looking for other systems, not the system you're in, but other systems within 10 light years. So if I can just get my browser to come up. So here we go. So I've gone into EDDB. I've gone on to the systems tab. I've typed in the system I've decided I would like to bounty hunt in as the reference system. And I can see 
there are three other systems within 10 light years. Those systems have a reasonable number of stations in and they're relatively close to the star. And I know from experience that those systems will give pirate mass commissions for this faction, which is the LHS-1339 Purple Game. And then I can come here to a good hunting spot. And because I've got a number of these missions from different factions in different systems, they all stack, which means that when I kill one pirate, it counts for all of those missions. So... As you can see here, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, six missions. I had to kill a total of 48 pirates. Those 48 pirates counted against all of these missions. I didn't have to add them all up. They were done concurrently um, rather than consecutively. And one other point for these sorts of missions that's important. There is no distinction between wing and non-wing missions in terms of difficulty. In fact, the wing missions will usually give you a better payout compared to the same number for the non-wing missions. Okay? The other thing is the wing missions will give you six to seven days to complete, whereas the non-wing missions will give you between one and two days to complete. So if there's quite a large number of pirates you're going to have to shoot, then you're going to find that the wing missions definitely are best because you have more time to do it. And as well as the mission payout, you of course will also get, just find it, the bounty payouts. Now, the bounty payouts will be the minority of what you make. Um, I would estimate that there's probably maybe three and a half million in bounties here I handed in one and a half million part way so I will have made about four or five million in bounties for 50 million worth of missions in fact let's just add up the missions so we've got 23 17 so that's 30 40 48 48 58 59 59, let's call that one two, so 61, 61, 63. So 63 million, so more than 50 million. Um, it took me a couple of hours to shoot all of the pirates. I was streaming at the time because this was actually my last Elite Danger stream I was doing this, so you can always go and watch that and I'll put the link in. And so I'm, I'm making a nice 30 million an hour. So basically, if you want to make more money from bounty hunting and you know this could be because you're working on your combat rank or you just like your bounty hunting you want massacre missions you want to be able to stack massacre missions against the same target faction from multiple other factions and the if you can the best way to do that is to be able to do that across systems because it gives you more factions which you can take the missions from because you don't want to take too many you don't want to really be taking more than one mission from each faction although if one faction gives you 30 and another faction offers you two missions to shoot 15 pirates then take those two 15s because that will still mean you only have to shoot 30 pirates to complete all three missions so that's basically what I've got here for you today um, please do feel free to ask questions in the comments or pop into the stream or get in touch with me on Twitter. Thank you very much and if you've enjoyed this video please consider giving it a like um, so that and uh, leave me any comments and certainly bring up any other topics. Thank you very much and that's it for today.